hang on, David, hold it. I'm sorry. We have the Dobbs case. Yes, we I'm do. sorry, David. We will move you to another time today, if possible. I just have to take the Dobbs case. It just came out, and I'm sure you understand. I do not mean to be unfair to you on that. I, Please I, I hold, think you're and being we will. Unfair to me, Glenn. I think that you could certainly you could certainly give me some time, but it's a little funny that you I will, sir. It's by the, the end of the program, by the end of the program, this is the biggest case <laughs> in U.S. history, Got at me. least in my lifetime. We will uh, move on from you and reschedule today on today's program. I want to be fair to him. Good what heavens. has happened with the Dobbs case? Uh, we have Roe versus Wade overruled. Uh, as well as Casey. Oh my gosh! I don't think I ever thought I would see this day. To be honest with you, um, but it's a it's a good day. We have by talked Alito. about this. We have been together for uh, twenty five years, and we both said never in our lifetime would this happen. Nope, I didn't. I, oh my gosh! I, it's uh, it's being widely. Lord, <laughs> please hear. The voice of your people. We are trying to mend our ways. We are, uh, we are sorry it has taken us this long, but please hear your people. Please forgive us for what we have done. My, <clears throat> my gosh. Is the ruling, does it look to be the same as the original Alito ruling. I'm just going through it now. It does seem to be a 6-3 decision, um, uh, which is, you know, there was a question of whether Roberts would uh, would would come on board for this. Um, looks like he has. So it does seem to be a 6-3 decision. Just let that sink in, America. What Ruth Bader Ginsburg said, Ruth Bader Ginsburg said that this is, um, this was um, unjustly and uh, decided, Roe versus Wade. She thought it was flawed. And it was the idea that uh, abortion is covered in the Constitution is not true. It is just it is it is not true. And everything that is not in the Constitution doesn't make it unconstitutional. It just means it goes to the states to decide. That is the law of the land and has been forever. Even Justice Ginsburg said that. Um, the uh, relevant portion here at the end of the opinion, we end this opinion where we began. Abortion presents a profound moral question. The Constitution does not prohibit the citizens of each state from regulating or prohibiting abortion. Roe and Casey arrogated that authority. We now overrule those decisions and return that authority to the people and their elected representatives. The judgment of the Fifth Circuit is reversed and the case is remanded for further proceedings consistent with this opinion. It is so ordered. Mm. Oh. Okay. Um, we, Thank please, God. our producers need to be watching the uh, White House uh, and all others who are going to come out in a, a statement. This means uh, Jane's revenge uh, is going to be at least what they say is they are going to be lighting cities on fire tonight. Um, I'm, I'm prayerful that that doesn't happen, but I wouldn't doubt it. The media is going to stir things up like there is no tomorrow but we can we can uh, beg the lord for peace and protection on all sides you know i think it's um 
I think it is so important to know that we have to be on God's side because he's not picking uh, sides. He doesn't. He loves all of his children equally. And uh, we just try to do what he wants us to do. So pray for all of those who are terrified about what this means, all those who are, um, I think, misguided, uh, and pray for peace uh, to wash over us. I doubt, well, I'm not going to, I have no idea what the Lord wants. Whatever the Lord wants, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, all right, would you make sure that we have talked to uh, Levitt's office, and if, if yes, we can, we'll do it on the bottom of the hour. Um, I, my apologies to him. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm sorry. Really, I really, uh, I hope, I hope we can prioritize race. his local race over over the Dobbs decision. Glenn, I don't understand why you didn't do yeah. that. That was really rude of you well, to cut him off in the middle of that. I mean, what what could you possibly be talking about? Only uh, you know, hundred you know, tens of millions of children uh, potentially are on the road to living instead of not being alive. And, but I, I want to make sure he gets his words in here because I know that was a high priority to him. So we'll get back to him as soon as possible. I'm glad he prioritized that. It's a really important moment for him to, to make that personal argument, and I'm glad he made it. I don't care. <sighs> um, can we get... Um, oh, wait, let me... Uh, I'm mm. sorry, but we don't have another... Mm. <laughs> we don't have a break uh, long enough. Do, do we, can we get analysis on... Uh, bottom of this hour, because if we get analysis on this hour, if they have time to read it, get analysis on and then move David to the next hour. If we can't get analysis because they haven't had time to read it yet, then uh, let's... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just shocked that this came out. We were just having this conversation before we went on the air, and uh, Stu said, what are you going to do if the Dobbs case comes out? And I said, it's not going to come out. And he said, but if it comes out, and I said, it's not going to come out, but if it does, we have to take that. Um, and uh, so I'm just shocked because I did not expect that to happen. Yeah. Uh, Glenn, um, we can read right. one, uh, one excerpt here um, from the ruling. We do not pretend to know how our political system or society will respond to today's decision overruling Roe, versus, Roe and Casey. And even if we could foresee what will happen, we would have no authority to let that knowledge influence our decision. Gosh, if that is not the central problem with the Supreme Court so often. So glad they pointed that out. We can only do our job, which is to interpret the law, apply longstanding principles of stare decisis, and decide this case accordingly. We therefore hold that the Constitution does not confer a right to abortion, period. Rowan Casey must be overruled, and the authority to regulate abortion must be returned to the people and their elected representatives. It is the best of times. It is the worst of times. Um, we're going to see miracles in our lifetime. And I think we just saw one. Uh, the court writes, the precedents should be respected, but sometimes the court errs. And occasionally the court issues an important decision that is egregiously wrong. When that happens, stare decisis is not a straitjacket. This is something, of course, we've been arguing for decades and seemingly as obvious as you point out i mean even ruth bader ginsburg supported this at one point in her career many liberal uh you know court watchers feel the same way this is not a this is not a conservative there's there's a lot of passion for conservatives on the pro-life side of this and there's very little uh, appetite for that on the left however there is appetite for this being terrible law and an egregiously made egregiously poor decision made when Roe versus Wade was initially, uh, you know, decided. And so the left has been on, in, on, this, on board with this, not to say we shouldn't have abortion, which again, this is not what this does. And it's important to remember that overturning Roe versus Wade does very little to stop abortion in this country. It's, it's a very important first step. It won't. But it will, it anyone who to... wants to get an abortion in this country will still be able to get them. You, there's a... This is why the work that, you know, we've talked about some of these organizations we've worked with is so important. It's about still changing hearts and minds. This will not do it on its own, but it is an important step. So do you remember when I was at Fox and I was talking about why it was so important um, to be good, be steady, uh, don't fight back the way they want you to fight back? 
because Martin Luther King was right. When you put good versus evil side by side, the American people will know it and they will recognize it and they will see it. Um, a lot of Americans have been uh, duped and a lot of Americans, you know, it's very, very difficult. You learn this from the history of uh, Germany and other places. Once you decide and you've gone so far mentally down the road, it takes a huge amount of courage to say, holy cow, I, I was wrong about this and switch sides. But um, I think you're going to see states, California, New York, they are going to become abortion mills. They are going to do abortion vacations. They are going to push the limits as far as they're going to say, if it's up to the state, you will see you will see laws in some states that say after a baby is born, you can kill it. They've done it already in Chicago. They've done it illegally in Chicago. They they talked about it in Virginia. They're going to do it in New York. They're going to do it in California. Believe me. And this will be the place where I think a lot of Americans will have to decide, can I live in a state like that? Can I... Can I be part of that? This is so far, this will become so far over the edge um, that most Americans will be appalled by what is happening. Even those who believe that, the, you, you know, they, they want to have reasonable uh, limits to abortion, uh, they will not find it reasonable what these death states will do.